How do different economic systems impact a person's way of life? The political systems affect people based off of money and how much people get as income. Uh, social status, the margin between rich and the poor, and how people think, and the government control, uh, and how much the government controls of people's businesses or income and taxes. In 1917, Russia had an economic system that backfired on them. That economic system was communism. This backfired on them because the citizens had no right to vote and had a dictator leader. The Russians were forced to fight even some without weapons because they believed the thought that everybody was the same. Due to the belief of communism and the loss in the war, everybody in Russia was poor. The three economic systems are capitalism, socialism, and communism. The first one is capitalism, and the best definition that I can think of is you get paid for what job you have. Capitalism, you earn your own money and you can't leech off of anybody else, so you have to survive off of what you have and you have to work to what you get and how you live. The second one is socialism. The definition for that is it's in between the economic systems of capitalism and communism. So the people that are rich, they give some more money, they give money to the poor people. So they become more middle class and they help each other out. But for communism, it's even if someone's a doctor, they get paid just as much as a janitor. So everything is the same and nobody owns anything. It's more government owns everything. The people of the economic systems will be represented through the levels of Kwai Hao. The bottom is the poor. The middle is the middle class, and the top four is the rich. Communism is like everybody at the bottom of Kovao, poor. Socialism is like the second and third floor of Kabao, middle class and rich. Capitalism is like the first and third floor of Kabao, poor and rich. My partner and I picked socialism rather than communism and capitalism. Communism is not an effective economic system whatsoever. The people that work their asses off don't get the money they deserve. Bombs that don't work, they will slowly influence others that they can get by without working and just get the share amount, same share as everyone else. In capitalism, too many people would be greedy and there would be a huge space between poor and the rich. So that means there's private owned businesses and the poor people would just be sitting there and, and this, they wouldn't be able to work or make money. Socialism is the best resort to all of their problems because the rich people will stay wealthy but the government is still taxing to help the poor. The gap of rich people and poor people will be closer together. The world can benefit from the economic system of socialism the poor people can become more of a middle class and it will save a lot of lives. Socialism is a better choice.